Hey guys, Ivan here, so in this video we're gonna do a little analysis of the Tampa Pro 2023 and this was your final call out, the top two, John De La Rosa and Hunter Labrada. Now at the time I'm making this video, the show is not over yet, it's probably gonna be over in like an hour or so, I could wait and just uh, do it after they announce the winner, but I can tell you already, it's quite obvious, Hunter is winning this show for sure. For sure, and I'm gonna focus in this video on his improvements, but also let's take a look at this, this pose down, this comparison, and let's take a look at the John De La Rosa, what did he bring? So from his previous showing at Chicago where he placed second, he definitely brought a much better conditioning, overall much better package. Everything looked pretty good aside from the quads from the front, you're gonna see that in a second, and I think that's the reason why Hunter is winning this so easily. In other poses, in other body parts, it was actually a pretty good battle, I could say, but because of those legs, it's not even close. Before we get to the front poses, let's take a look at their back shots. Now here, as you can see, John is looking pretty good, right? Like he has the detail, he has the mass, he has like the big shoulders and arms as well as the back and he improves his conditioning for sure, his glutes are separated, his hamstrings as well and as far as Hunter, obviously he's in a good shape, he is unarguably in the best shape of his life for sure, easily, definitely uh, and like the back looks improved as well, it looks a little bit deeper, it looks a little bit more detailed uh, I was, uh, when I was watching all, all those, you know, physique updates of Hunters on his Instagram, I thought he was gonna be even more conditioned, but he probably, you know, filled out nicely, and it worked, for sure, I mean, he looks amazing here, he's winning this show easily, but I don't think he would have lost this show no matter what he did, if he went for dryness or fullness or whatever, because he's so much better than the other guys, I mean, all the other competitors here are, you know, not really top tier bodybuilders, John De La Rosa was a top tier bodybuilder back in the day, but he has been away from the game for a while, and now that he came back, he is good, but really he's like, I don't know, let's say third tier bodybuilder, I mean, I don't think he's even gonna qualify for the Mr. Olympia, and there are guys who are qualified for the Mr. Olympia, and they're, and they're not gonna be in the second callout. So let's say the third callout bodybuilders of the Mr. Olympia are third tier, that makes John De La Rosa either third or like fourth tier bodybuilder. <laughs> I don't know how many tiers are there, but Hunter is, I mean, he was at one point top tier, you know, he was fourth, freaking fourth at the Mr. Olympia, Last year he, he was 7th, so let's say he dropped down in that 2nd tier, and now he is fighting to get into that top tier again. Is he gonna get there? I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, here definitely the best package of Hunter so far. His conditioning is pretty similar to John's, he's not that much more conditioned, but he is bigger, he is wider. He's wider to the back, and he has bigger legs. I mean, John has a decent back, Hunter is not really known for the back, but here he looks better than him because he's just bigger, wider, has bigger frame. Side tricep is Hunter's pose, he's really good in this one, it's arguably his best pose of all poses, this and most muscular probably. I love the way he's hitting the side tricep, Dorian Yates style, he's showing off that calf, and he has big calves for sure. And it is pretty rare, actually, these days for bodybuilders in the open division to have, like, big calves. And Hunter is one of those guys. And even though calves don't really matter that much, they really do add to a physique. I mean, in this side tricep, imagine what this side tricep would look like without calves. You know, not that good. So, yeah, I think it definitely adds to the overall illusion. Uh, it just makes a physique look more impressive, more complete. And the width in, in his shoulders, because he is very wide, also like the thickness to the chest and the way he's twisting and, you know, holding that stomach in, showcasing a small waist and overall great V taper, X taper. Unlike John De La Rosa, whose shoulders are not really, I mean, he's not showing that width because he didn't open up enough and his stomach could be tucked in a little bit more. So, yeah, Hunter is absolutely killing him in this pose. And now you're about to see like the biggest reason, the number one reason why Hunter blew John De La Rosa out of the water and that's the legs. So John De La Rosa definitely has a big issue with his quads, they are definitely not big enough. I don't think his quads were ever like really big, really impressive, but now they are definitely showing obvious signs of atrophy. His legs are definitely downsized from what they were before and just overall this is not the best John De La Rosa, even though his conditioning is improved here at this show, 
Yeah, he he's not the man he used to be, the bodybuilder that he once was. And Hunter is at his absolute best by far. And just look at Hunter's freaking adductors, man. Like, who has this kind of thickness in the adductors? I mean, look at how low they are inserting. Like, this is something you don't see very often. I mean, it's really a rarity. Again, I mean, this is really impressive, really, really freaky looking. It's really adding, like, uh, that, that thickness effect to his physique. And even the upper body, I mean, like, the, the chest, the, the shoulder width, the arms, everything, the small waist from the front as well. It all flows pretty well. And he's just bigger, you know, frame-wise, compared to John, and compared to many people, so... Yeah, an easy win for Hunter right here. We missed a couple of poses in this video, but I got some photos for you guys, so you can see even more clearly what their conditioning was like, mainly what Hunter's conditioning was like. So as you can see right here, I mean, he was definitely in the best conditioning of his life, and overall, his best package. Now, do I think this package is gonna win? Texas Pro? I don't know, man. I, I mean, I kind of overestimated Hunter a little bit. I mean, those Instagram shots were... I mean, he looks great here. Again, the, the best shape of his life. But is this gonna be enough, like, to, 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 to destroy Texas like he destroyed Tampa? No, no, it's gonna be a tough battle against Andrew Jack and probably Carlos Thomas Jr., uh, maybe Hunter is gonna win, I'm not saying he will not win, but, you know, it's not gonna be as easy as I thought, so, yeah, he's definitely at his best, he's definitely much improved, his conditioning is great, but I kind of thought he improved more than he really did. Now, here in this back double, as you can see, like, John is looking very good in that back, I mean, he probably has better back than Hunter, but everything else pretty much is on Hunter's side, and that back was never his strongest point, but... Is it improved? It definitely is. I mean, the lats are very high, the lower lats are not like super developed, super thick, and I don't think he's ever gonna fill them out, but you know, everybody has flaws, so does Hunter. But again, like the overall package of this show, his best package by far for sure. What can we expect of Hunter at Texas? I mean, a fuller package, a more conditioned package? Well, I think he peaked pretty well here. I don't think he, if he was uh, flatter and like more conditioned drier, I think it would hurt his look, I think he's filled up just the way he should be, and uh, yeah, I don't think we can expect him to get any drier or any fuller, so it's probably gonna be similar package to this, I mean, maybe he's gonna improve a little bit more until Olympia, but for Texas, I'm expecting similar package to this one, now the question, the real question, the only question is, is that gonna be enough against guys like Andrew Jack? and Carlos Thomas Jr. You guys tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you guys want to show me some love, some support, there's the link in the caption of this video, which will lead you to the Old School Labs website where you can buy any of the supplements you need. But make sure to use the code EVAN, which will be very helpful to me. And also you're going to get a 15% discount. So thank you guys so much for all your attention. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.